Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz, how you doing, though? I'm good. How you doing? Am I allowed to call you sister? Don't do that. Okay, 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 I'm joking, 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 Jazz. Joking. Jazz, I got to yeah. say, first off, man, respectfully, you look the beautiful other night, man. You look so you. nice, man. So much. I yeah, I really loved how I looked. I ain't gonna lie. When I got dressed, I was like, oh, oh my God. But you know, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you show it. So, word, like, word, word. And both y'all look nice together though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look, yeah, look so decent together. Best, that's the best I ever seen Kichi look. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know. He knew this was a big deal, you feel me? Like hey, 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 hey. How you feeling though? Overall, how you feeling though? I feel great. Um, I finally was able to watch the battle this morning, and it made me feel even better. Okay. Um, cause I was kind of worried about how I looked because I was in my head while I was battling. So when you in your head, it kind of like, you know, you're not moving how you normally move. But I looked like it wasn't nothing bothering me. Like I looked like I was, bang, 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 me, me. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny though? During the face off, I looked at you and the way you were talking though. I never seen you so apt like that in the face off. You were mad apt. Yeah, partly because, you know, I was confident that I could be Geechee with what I had, but I'm always confident in my material before I battle. I always feel like I'm going to beat my opponent, but it's Geechee. He knows how to bother me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew our face off was going to be entertaining because. Naturally, he's entertaining, and naturally, our chemistry together is that. So it was a good face-off. I haven't watched it back yet, but everybody was like, yo, y'all, face was mad entertaining. Mm -hmm. I seen a lot of people saying, yo, I don't know. I, Jazz came in there with the hat, you know. I don't know. Jazz might be with Demon Tom. <laughs> yeah, the bamboo earrings all right. Was he rocking mm -hmm. the bamboo earrings with Jace? All right. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What made you decide to do the, on the um, flip the coin? At the face off though, Jazz. Like you said, I was in the moment. I was in the moment, like, you know what I'm saying? I just randomly asked, Are you going first? And then he was just like, Nah, I was with the coin. I was like, All right, cool. Like, it didn't really matter. Honestly, it didn't really matter to me if I went first or second. Like, I would have preferred to go second simply because he could rebuttal really good. Right. But it didn't matter. Like, it was what it was, honestly. I didn't, I didn't defensive right like Gaddis. So I didn't have to go first. It was just. You know what I'm saying? And I lost. It was like, all right, whatever. I was either going to lose or win the next day. So I wasn't tripping. Jazz, when were you happy with the material that you had before this weekend where you were like, okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm confident with my shit. Let's get it. Yeah, I was I was very, um, you know, because I had to write differently for Geechee. Um, I had to be more direct than I normally am with my opponents. Mm. So it was kind of different for me. But I really did like my material still. Like, I I loved my material, especially, like, a week leading up to the battle. Right. It was, like, it was a week before, and I was like, hmm, yeah, this this it. Because cause I'm like, what I really wanted to do was, you know, I kept saying in my interviews before, oh, I don't know what Jazz going to say to get you. There's nothing Jazz going to say to get you. Yo, Jack, get you going to talk to her. Jazz going to be rapping there, boo, boo, boo. And in my head, I'm like, bro, there's so much to say to get you. Like, he battles all the time. It's in front of your face. For me, I felt like it was less you could say to me because I don't battle a lot. Right. 11 battles. 11 battles on your resume, right? He might be 12. 12. No, 12 now. 12 now. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah, like, it's kind of like, if you do talk about an old battle, it's old. You feel me? So I knew Geechee would have to talk about things that were personal with me because that's all there really is. Like my job, QP. He mm. talked about the Bardashians. He talked about where I live. You feel me? Like, so I knew that it was going to be things that he would have to pull out a hat and make it into something. Right. Uh, I know with me, it was just going to be stuff that we've all seen, but nobody has ever spoke about it. And it was kind of weird to me because... It's right in front of your face, but you know everybody doesn't think like me. So, and, and you know, because you're a student of the game, obviously, all this talk that jazz be at battles. I've always felt like you being at battles has been good for your career. Where you studying shit while you on stage, right? I mean, they've been working now, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you, jazz. Yeah, you right. Talk, talk about your first round, though, jazz. How you feel about your first round, though? I thought my first round was gonna shake the building. 
Mm. I felt like my first round was better than my first versus Gaddis. Because my Gaddis first round was very performance based and just excitement based. Like the bars wasn't crazy. Mm. I'm like, son, I'm like, yo, my Geechee first, wild. Like, I'm wild. Once they didn't react to be easy to take the first time, a Compton nigga died for fucking with the wrong bitch. I said, oh my God. Yo, that way in the water line, I love that shit. That Thank way you. in the water shit, I love that shit though. I like that line. I it felt like, yeah, it just, the crowd was just like, oh my God. But, you know, I, it kind of reminded me of the official situation, like, with the crowd wasn't fuck with me as I, as much as I thought they would. So I was like, all right, Jazz, if it's about to be one of those, just rap through it, bro, and don't don't show it. And watching it back, I ain't show nothing. But you're not used to that, though, Jazz. Let's be real, though. In your career, for the most part, you have star power as a female. You never really got to deal with the, okay, they're not really receptive to me. Did I mess with you at all, though? At, at all? What? That, that not being receptive a little bit of some of the lines that you said in the first. Yeah, time. if it wasn't my, if it was my first time, it would have showed. But official was my first time. Right. Okay. So it was like, all right, I've been through this before. Yeah. Rap through it. Rap yeah. through it. You feel me? And like I said, even Twerk and Lou, I was telling them like, yeah, I was in my head while I was rapping. They were like, Jazz, you didn't look bothered at all. Like your poise, your swag, like you was on them. So. You know what I'm saying? That's that's good that I was able to hide that I was in my head because I really was. Like, every bar I was rapping, I was like, hope this hit. Hope this hit. Hope this hit. But um, I noticed that in my second round, they, they started reacting more. And I don't know if it was because of my mic because official and Casey was like, yo, tell him to put your mic up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it was that. I don't know if my second was just that much better. Like, it was right. a few things. But all in all, um, yeah, like you said, I'm normally the crowd is normally receptive to me. So, in the, in the first round, would you say your first round was more performance based with the yeah, 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 and the posing and everything like that? Would you say out of all your rounds, though? No, I think my first round had the most bars, like oh. the most, the most just random punches, and then my second and my third was more angle based. Um, like I said, because I knew I had to be direct. I'm not about to have Geechee yet talking to my soul, mm -hmm. and I'm just rapping about the sky and, and, and the trees and, and the birds, like, nah. Hey, what do you thought about Geechee's first round, though? I love, I love his first round. You love his first round? I, I love his first round. Um, He was smart to do the dispatch thing in the first. Mm -hmm. Um, Thinking back, I wish I would've did the criminal justice shit in the first, because then it would've made it like, oh no, you feel me? Um, But even still, people say that first is debatable. Mm. And be, it's so crazy. People say the first is debatable, but then got the second clear for one of us. But then some people got the first clear and then the second debatable for either of us. So that's Dad, the that's second debatable, though, Mom. I got the second very debatable. See? It's debatable in me the second round. It's like, it's like everybody has their different opinions, and I feel like that's literally a, the epitome of a debatable battle. Because a, deb a lot, most times, like 95% of the times, a debatable battle is. One round clear, one round clear, and the, another round is not. Right, right, I, right. In this case, for me, what I'm seeing, people saying two rounds is debatable, and then one of them is not. It's like the opposite. So, mm. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I, I, I was supposed to go up there and die. Like, I was supposed to, according to the fans. But you never died, though. So it's like, you know, you never died, though. But I, I ain't gonna lie, though. I, I, don't, I did think Gucci was gonna, like, I did worry about what were you going to say, though, but then it's funny, like you said, certain angles you took, a lot of these niggas that, a lot of men that battle him didn't really go hard in that bag, though. You know, they ain't going that duffel, though. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think that was, like, my goal. I'm like, I want to rap to him and do these angles in a way where people will say, damn, I never noticed that, or damn, she's right, but nobody ever said that. Like, that was, like, the whole point of the the angles that I took mm. and it clearly worked you know I'm seeing a lot of people saying like jazz approached him in the way nobody has I love jazz's approaches a different jazz I've never seen and yeah like Gotti brought something out of me that I didn't know I had in me like of wow. course I want to die in general then people saying I'm gonna die to a man in his Gucci so I'm like bro like I need to really prove myself because and then it made it even better that 
I I had the tiebreaker. Like it was up to me to to get the girls on the three. Wow. Okay. But I didn't realize. I didn't know that until after the, after the battle happened. They was like, "Yeah, Judge, you you made the girls three and three. I'm like, "What you mean?" Like they was out. Like, I was down three two. I was like, "Oh, that's fire!" Like I never would have thought I would win on the polls, ever. And you spoke about that in your third round when you said to him about um you gonna try to gas the fans about that. <laughs> I did. I said, because they're going to say I won. You're going to try to play the polls. Yeah, right. I'm lying it. <laughs> right. You said in your third round, though, I ain't going to. Let me ask you this. In the second round, you said you glad this battle is not in LA. Did you really mean that, though, when you said that, though? Yes. <laughs> I don't just be saying stuff to say it. So, you went, all right, let's say the battle was in LA, though. You'd have been like, nah. Or you just I still, still would have did it because it, it would have been what it was, but I knew that I would have had to fight through something different mm -hmm. but at the same time i'm not gonna lie like i i think and i've said it i think the the the, the key to me being geechee was my star power mm -hmm. like i i could match it so it was like we're both fan favorites you know what i mean mm -hmm. um i think that if it was in la i would have had that to help me i'm not right. saying it would have been the uh same you know uh, situation as this battle in Charlotte, but I think it would have helped me at least. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know people in LA love me. God, he's a Superman, but I know I'm still, like, loved enough for it to be like, nah, but Judge going crazy. But um, all in all, the crowd, like I said, the crowd was very just funny. Or, so Jazz, it felt like all from watching from the crib, it felt like all night. Did you yeah. go in the building like, when you were in the building? Before? I know because it didn't feel weird for me with DNA and Official and Casey and Vervin. Those are the only two I really... Okay. Watched. Got you, got you. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, I felt like they was giving what they were supposed to give. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people were saying, nah, the crowd was off all night. So then you got the main event going last. I, we went late, way later than I thought we would. I thought we was going to go like 6, 6.30. We went at like 8.40. Like, mm -hmm. so, you know, you know, things happen. That's, but we fought through it. And honestly, um, I appreciate the people that can actually acknowledge that me and Gotti's battle was actually really good. It's just the crowd that made it feel like it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's a lot of battle rappers. I mean, there's a lot of battle rap fans that, you know, they say the crowd doesn't affect how they look at a battle, but it does. Mm -hmm. You, if you at home or you watching at home, and you you going crazy, but the crowd not, you kind of thinking like, am I wilding? Why is the crowd wild? Like, does it make you feel like it was underwhelming? And I think our material was really good. Like, I think our material should have got way more love than than it did, but. Yeah. Man, man, you feel some people say because I'm pretty sure you you pay attention to stuff, Jazz. I've heard people say underwhelming words, cringe words. Why do you feel people are trying to attach that to the battle? Some people are attaching that to the battle. I think there's a few things. Honestly, I think it's a few things. Um, like you know, some people saying they thought that they thought the battle was gonna get more disrespectful because we're friends, and to okay. me that's backwards. Like, if you know we're friends, why would you expect it to be <laughs> dirty laundry? Like, even so. I, we don't got no dirty laundry on each other. Like, it, it's really not that. You feel me? Um, I think Geechee. I think Geechee could have been a little more disrespectful though. I thought he was gonna. You know what I'm saying? The way that he was. Oh, I'm gonna make Jazz cry, and she ain't battle tested. I'm gonna embarrass her. It was kind of like, well, damn, what, what you about to say to me, sir? Um, but it was. But did that. You, that, you need that though. Did you need that for the writing process of him antagonizing? Yeah, it definitely helped. It definitely helped. I, you know what I'm saying? Him trolling me every day on Twitter helped. His fans, Dick Rodden helped. <laughs> like, the fans saying I was going to die helped. Like, all of that helps. You know? All of that helps. Um, so, the lead up to the battle was definitely dope. Um, I Yeah, lead up to the battle was definitely dope. And I think we did what we needed to do. Me and Gotti did what we needed to do. And you had your viral moment with the Blue Lives Matter. I see that going crazy on social media. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing everybody posting their clips. I'm like, damn, was I that trash? But then I watched the battle, and I was like, oh, no, nah, I got to post this part right here. Like, that whole little section was like, nah, let me hey. post that. So, yeah, it's definitely going up. Ocho Cinco retweeted it. Yes. Um, Yeah, that clip is definitely going up. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, it was it – was, I enjoy myself. Like I said, I'm I'm proud of I'm really proud of how I did. Your second round, one of the, I think one of my favorite lines you had in the second round is where you compare Gotti to Steve Nash 
the basketball player and the coach. I'm a sports nigga, so I you know what's crazy. You know what I'm, I mean? I'm really like, I don't know how I do this shit. Like, my brain is really different. I wrote that on like Wednesday or Thursday. Mind you, my second was done. Mm. But I just took something out and put that in. This nigga Lou, we don't even know. I ain't telling Lou. Lou made a post on Facebook and said, damn. Steve Nash is a terrible coach, but he's he can really play ball. And when I used to watch basketball, I remember Steve Nash. So it's not like I was unknown. Or like, I knew exactly who he was. And I'm like, mm, current events, relevant. Let me let me set this up real quick. You know, like, I just, I just be thinking, like, about I, anything I see, I'll think of it for real, like, and just throw it in there. But I knew, I noticed that my bars that got the biggest reactions were my sports bars. The three times oh. you went know about the wrong crowd? Ow! That shit was hard too, though. I like your angles, the old red, call him a crab, the little slap shit. You had a dope suck your... Was that your favorite round? No, that was my least favorite. What? What's your favorite round there, Giants? My favorite was my third. Yeah. And then my first. And then my second. Wow. So as a writer, you're thinking... People in the building, us at the crib, are gonna gravitate more, probably more to the third than the second. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I felt like I felt like it went. I I I felt like normally what I well yeah I kind of felt like the second is weird because it's like I knew my second I knew none of my rounds was ass like I, that was never the case. Okay. But I think that I felt like my second was my least favorite because to me. The angles, I felt like I don't know how this going to go with the crowd. I just didn't mm. know. Like, I knew the teeth was going to go off. But yeah. I was a little shaky about, um, I was a little shaky about the me saying he's only tough out of town I'm in Cali. And I was shaky about the jail thing. So it was just kind of like, you know, like. I want to talk about I'm at the crib thinking. Why does Jazz feel like she's more gangster than Geechee? She's telling me, he's a nice guy. Smack. I'm like, yo. Those little yo, they went crazy. Yeah. Those little ad libs, I ain't going to hold you, though. Jazz, them shit's hitting the crib, though. Jazz, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nah, they went crazy to that. Like, he's a good guy. Smack. I know him. Like, um, but yeah, nah, that, that round went off, and everybody's talking about that was my best round. So, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's dope. And like I said, I, I thought my first was going to go off. Mm. But my face was gonna go all oh, my thoughts gonna blow the roof off. And it did it. You I can't hear you. Oh, you on mute. What happened? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, I hear you now. What you oh, say? My bad, my bad. We thought about the second round though, a second. I liked his second too. Um, I felt I liked his second too. Like I said, I loved how Gotti did. Um, me being a, a strategist, I'm thinking like, okay, what is Gotti gonna talk about? And I felt like Gotti was gonna do a lot of things where most of his angles were gonna be him making something seem like something. Right. Like I felt like, like I said, because it's not much you could talk about with my battle career. So it was gonna be things that he's making you believe. Like, all right, dang. That happened or oh, dang jazz really you feel me so um it was it he did what I divide and conquer you paid divide and conquer between the crew right right I, and we knew he was gonna do that like for months ago i'm like yo he's gonna talk about me not being at the um remy event mm. you know I mean? and i was tight because i missed my flight i was in london for real i was in london for real and i was tight i said damn you gonna talk about me not being there and you gonna make it a, he he did it better than I thought he would, but I knew we knew he was going to do something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? So, mm. um, but yeah, it was, uh, I liked the second round as well. I really did, but I think, I think I got the second clear. Okay. I, I, I think I got the second clear. If he would have punched a little more with those angles for me, then it would have been like, mm, okay. But I think he was more so, he was just trying to talk to me and, right. and, and make jokes as opposed to putting the bars with the angles. Now your third round, you went into the criminal justice bag. The criminal justice bag. Let me ask you about that. A question about that. Sometimes, brother, were you were you leery enough to think, okay, I know I'm gonna go here with the criminal justice angle, but most things that street dudes know about criminal justice or dig into that type of bag and try to learn about 
stuff like that. I didn't care because. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't care because all right. All right. it was like bro it was a lot more I could have did with that but I'm like I'm not about to drag it out okay. it's, it's, corny. Like, it's just like bro I, we know you went to college but we don't know we didn't, never, we didn't know what you went for even though he had said it himself mm. nobody knew that like nobody really knew that so mm. it was like alright I gotta paint the picture right Right. It is what it is. You, I, I'm a dispatcher. You went to school for criminal justice. Boo, boo, boo. You see, he rebuttaled it. Yes, yes, he did. But that's something that you, he felt like he needed to address. Like, you feel me? So, um, yeah, I didn't care about all oh, straight niggas be doing that. Boo, boo, boo. Like, you can learn about criminal justice outside of school. Why did that have to be a major? Like, right. like, that's what I'm trying to paint the picture of. And, you know, you either like it or you don't. Honestly, I felt like our third was going to be the most debatable round because... I'm like Geechee Thurs be crazy, so I'm like, I wanted to, I wanted to end up being a preference round. That's why I did what I did. You either gonna like the tough shit from Geechee, or you gonna like the criminal justice bit from me. But it didn't go that way. He put, he put all his stuff in his first two for real. It was his lightest to me. I thought the most clearest round was you and the third. Respectfully, I feel anybody gave Geechee the third. Respectfully, when I say this, I will look at you kind of crazy. Respectfully, you know what I'm saying? There's a few people. The third, though, Chaz? It's a few people, so it's battle rap. You know, fans be cuckoo. Yeah, but there's some things. I know battle rap is an opinion sport, but some shit kind of be in your face, though. No, Chaz, I'm just being Some shit kind of like. Yo, I learned a long time ago. Everybody got different opinions, man. Right, 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 right. Is, um, yeah. is it dicey to go in the third round, even though you probably make it up a story, whatever, that you and him had relations, intimate relations? Being that he has the woman, is that kind of dicey to go in that bag when you write when you when you go there with it? Um, yeah, but it's battle rap, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is, but it's yeah, battle rap. It you know what I'm saying? Um, that he had his he had that in his. So it, it to me it kind of made it it kind of made it better. Like, you know, um I did like his better than mine. Um but yeah, nah, it was dope. It's just all entertainment, man. It's it's all entertainment. Right, right, right. And the living with your parents thing, I've seen people talking about that. Is that, I mean, I don't, as an old head, I don't see I've it. always, I've not, I knew he was going to talk about that too. Like, mm. I, I, I really try to break down, okay, what is motherfuckers going to talk about with me? Like, I had a feeling he was going to, it didn't have a high probability to me. Right. But it was like, he can talk about this. Like, I have a feeling he is. Um, yeah, I be, think people have mixed opinions about it. Oh, she's dirty. She lived with her parents. Oh, I wish I wish my parents would let me. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just that's just what it is. I said, Gotti think he's slick though. Gotti think he's slick because he know he know I'm about to move out there. I said he think he's slick. He know Jazz about to move. Oh yeah, when she move, I'm gonna be like, see, I'm changing people's lives. Like Gotti think he's real slick. I hate him, but um, but yeah, not nah, it, it was it was funny. Like it was it was funny. Mm -hmm. I think it would have hit more if it was a guy. Right. Um, a guy okay. I started with my experience, because, you know, double standards. Mm -hmm. But also, at the same time, like I said, I feel like people felt like I won that round already, so it kind of made it, like, eh. Yeah, so, a couple of times, God, he was giving it up to you, like, when you had some real haymakers, he was giving I don't, it up. I ain't trust none of his, I ain't trust none of his reactions, because he's sarcastic. <laughs> but I was like, he's probably <laughs> trying to make me feel good. Nah, shut up. <laughs> I don't want you... I don't want your compliments. I'm hey, good. Uh, yeah, in the middle of my second, he was like, oh, you angling. Like, I don't yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, your brother Tork is saying you're the greatest female battle rapper of all time. What does that mean to you? That's so amazing to me. That's fire. That's fire because, like I said, I wasn't watching the stream and I am like, right before I battled, I was outside just going over my rounds. Mm -hmm. And my best friend texted me in the group chat and she was just like, oh, that's so nice what Tork said about you. But I didn't know what she was talking about until I saw it later that night. Right. I was like, nah, that's fire. But yeah, Twerk has been saying that for, for a while oh, wow. now. Oh, wow. Um, and you know what? I think it's some validity to it. You know, I, I can see why he would say that. And honestly, I think I, I shut up a lot of doubters the, the other night. Like, even if you still have me losing, even if you still have me losing clear, it's like I really came to play. Like, I really came to fight. I showed up. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really showed up. So, um, that was the that was the least I wanted to do was 
be amazing. Be the be amazing. You know, especially after that Gaddis battle. That's a hard, hard battle to to to, to surpass. Back to back. Right. Very hard. And did you want to kill this notion about people saying that she really your first time battling a man, especially? You yeah, know, I wanna or but you know I you wanna yeah, I definitely Yeah. Yeah, know? I had to I had to show Yes, I can rap with a man, like, you know, and then on top of that, I went against the most three times champion of the year, Jazz. <laughs> three times champion and a nigga that's but and a nigga that's he gonna talk to you like right. you yeah. know, it's not like he's just a bar smith. Right. Where, like you could get around that or, or a performer where you could get around that. This is somebody that does everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he was the best. Everybody's like, y'all, this, I want to know you want to battle a man, but this wasn't the right opponent for you. And it's like, I felt like it was the best. I like a challenge. Mm. I love a challenge. As much as people want to say I be ducking whoever. Right. I always pick the best, the fire people mm. that can really kill me, smoke my boots for me. So it was just like, all right, I was scared at first. You know, I was scared when, when, when the battle got announced. I was like, oh, fuck. When did you, so when did you get over the fears? When you started writing? I yeah. Right. Probably like probably like a month into writing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I got this. <laughs> I got Did you have your thought juice after the battle? That's what people want to ask you. Did Man, you I was so tired. I forgot to pick it up. I always went to the diner. Then I went to the <laughs> mansion. You feel me? It was too late because they closed early, but I had it the next day. Okay. I had two. <laughs> What's up with the merch? I see you got the Bardashians merch going on. Talk to me about that. Yes, so we we did all that last minute. Like I'm a last minute person. I hate that about me, but um, we pulled through. Shout to Lee. She had to connect with the shirts, but um, you know, we I wasn't thinking like I'm 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 in a venue. I'm just trying to trying to you know get in the zone, go over my things. Then I'm I gotta be on stage for a Fisher battle. I gotta be on stage for Casey battle. So I'm on and off the stage whole time. We could have just been selling the merch in front out before the event. Right. Could have been. We could have been selling it, but. We we didn't really capitalize off that. We did sell. You feel me? We did sell, but we have we still have more. So I'm gonna definitely be definitely gonna post those online. You wanna put your order in. We got the girl shirts that say I'm a Bardashian, we got the men's shirts, well men or women's shirt that say the Bardashians. Um we have Bardashian face masks. I know it's no mandate now, but some people still wanna be a little safe. And I have my jazz face sticks that I wish I wasn't even thinking like I was supposed to give those out from early. I ain't peeped till like the third battle. Like, <laughs> Jazz face sticks with my face on it, but right. yeah, we we um we definitely working on that. Um, I want to work on some um more like merchandise or whatever cases for me. You okay. know, um, I'm sure Casey got her merchandise. I don't think official has anything solo, but I'm sure she'll tap into that. And um, yeah, I wanted to drop a project right on it after this battle happened, but I'm on it now because I ain't got nothing lined up. So I do want to do want to battle real soon, but I don't have nothing lined up as of right now. Jazz, I'm surprised. I, I'm two people on this card I thought was gonna cater to the crowd with Charlotte Bars was you and DNA. DNA did his part. I, I just thought you would have an ill Charlotte bar in the tuck. I don't know why I felt that way. I didn't even think about that. You know why? I ain't have time to. I'm not like Gucci Gotti, bro. Yeah, nah, I need to. I'm on his ass. Forget <laughs> Charlotte. We on Compton, Cali, Tom. But no, nah, you all right. And but also, hey. normally I cater to a crowd when normally I cater to a crowd when I feel like it's I need to be fun. I need to be entertaining. Like I didn't feel like this with this battle. I didn't need to hop in a entertaining bag. I didn't think I needed to get the crowd for this battle. I needed right. to talk to his soul. Mm. Like the focus was totally different. But DNA Charlotte Bar was crazy. Crazy, crazy. It was crazy, man. Crazy. Got 